his focus connect back in the building and CEO Jizzle was, was gunned down at the FedEx Forum at the Little Baby concert tonight. And as Memphis News reports say, it say a man has been critically injured after shots were fired during a Little Baby concert inside the FedEx Forum on Thursday night. According to Memphis Police Department, at 10.23 p.m., officers responded to a shooting at the venue located at 191 Bill Street, where one victim was found and rushed to Regional One Hospital with life-threatening injuries. At this time, the identity of the shooter is unknown. No other injuries were reported and the forum was evacuated. And this situation happened 30 minutes into the show. You know what I'm saying? And CEO Jizzle, hopefully he'll be all right and pull through this situation. But man, it's too many times and this is this getting too common in the city, period. It's getting common, too common amongst the black community against our young black males, man. We looking at each other as the enemy too much and we got to realize, man, that we supposed to be each other crutch. We ain't supposed to be each other enemy that when I see you, I want to take your life. Or if we have a dispute, we can't talk it out. And then, you know, they going back saying he was dissing money bag, yo. He was dissing uh, Big 30. But, man, CEO Jizzle have dissed a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? We got to be real on that. And it's just a wave in our community. We can't even just really look at him because it's like they showing us that this the way to go. Like, this the way to get rich. And to just see this young black brother go through what he went through. To see the damage that it's going to do to the city of Memphis with little baby coming. He probably ain't coming back. Then you got Future who always cancel his shows whenever he's supposed to come to Memphis. He never show up. So y'all got to understand the black eye that this creating to the game in Memphis, to the entertainment thing. The clubs already ain't jumping like they used to be. The strip club ain't the same like it once was. And the Memphis streets are just getting more treacherous by the day, man. You got these people doing all these snatching grabs. You got people doing crimes that really ain't even worth um, doing. They hitting licks that ain't even worth the money that they going to get from it, man. They robbing the Nike store, robbing the train. Just, just violence, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want to work. A lot of people don't see no benefit in working. But I don't understand how they see a benefit in doing all this criminal behavior, man. And it's really, like I say, it's always in the hood. It's always the usual suspects. And if CEO Jizzle lose his life, I'd never stop saying it, man. The other person that was on the other end of that gun lost his life as well. Because whether you get street justice or whether you get legal justice, man, you lost your life. Because right now, I guarantee you, that guy's in a panic right now. He trying to figure out how he can get out the situation, how he can get out the jail. But it really ain't no way out when you done this situation in a FedEx form. If the beef is dead thick, man, you know, you got to handle it accordingly. And really, like I said, man, I hate the fact that our people looking at each other as the enemy the way we do. You know, and then, you know, when you really think about this, all the artists that's been lost in Memphis, you had Dolph, you had CEO Teasy, you know what I'm saying, you had Casino Jizzle. Man, you got many other black youngsters just lost his brother. And it just, the list goes on and on, man. But sometimes you got to step outside the box and think about it. However you feel about Yo Gotti, Yo Gotti had beef with OG Boo Dirty. Yo Gotti had many beefs in the city of Memphis. But Yo Gotti was able to live to the point where he can reach his full potential. And a lot of these other guys that's losing their life, they ain't getting the opportunity to see and feel the real level of success that they possibly can reach by holding on to the street mentality. So, you know, I just wish the best for this brother in this situation. I wish the best for his family. I hope they can come come to terms uh, and be at peace in this situation. But, man, you got people on the Internet already letting me know that they ain't going to let this slide. Uh, There's a lot of uh, people posting on, on the Internet that, that's letting it be known how important CEO Jizzle was to his community, to his hood, to his homeboys, to his loved ones. So, you know, like I said, a lot of situations on the street, people look at it like retaliation is a must. And then they got also saying that, you know, uh, rumors in the air speculating that it's something with the baby, the, his baby mama, other baby daddy. Just, man, black folks issues that we need to just stay away from, man. You know what I'm saying? It's senseless. At the end of the day, it, it ain't nothing to say this person did this to him or he did this to that person. 
it just all boiled down to senseless violence, man. And as black people, we really just got to face the fact, man, that anything that's going on that we going to be congregated together, it's best not to even go. Because you can't trust the security as far as these guys getting in. How did a gun even get inside the FedEx forum? So you got people that's cool with certain people, people cool with these security guards, and people got certain pool that they'll get a weapon in a situation where you don't even have a weapon. So you you really in a lose-lose situation, man. It's a catch-22. But our people seem to keep overlooking the fact that history is only repeating itself.